y'all. I'm Laura and welcome back to my channel. For some reason, the light is all strange and these are always terrible intros. So I'm just going to go right into this Dollar Tree haul for you. So let me tell you a story. Because would it really be a Laura video without a story? No, no, it wouldn't. So I started off, I was like, oh, I wonder if there's any other Dollar Trees like in and about the area. And I did a little Google search and there's a Dollar Tree that I wasn't aware existed right and it's like right down next to the trader joe's and the costco which is crazy to me like i didn't know that it was over there it was right next to like a tuesday morning i said oh yes yes let me go and check out the dollar tree so i have two bags of things that i didn't really need but it was a new to me dollar tree and i was kind of in a hurry because i kind of had to hurry up and get out because i was only supposed to be going one place and my husband thought i was coming home sooner and i didn't but Anywho, like he was fine. Sorry, camera's weird. Like he was fine. It's not like, oh, you have to be home. It was, oh my gosh, our child is a nut job. Like, please help me like become wrangle her. So I'm gonna get through this. There's not a whole ton of stuff in here, but I wanted to show you some of the cool things I found and some of the things that were wishlist items that I've been on the lookout for, for quite some time. So first off, not a wish list item. These they de Dollar Tree definitely had last year, and these are the really pretty like blue and yellow placemats with the really pretty teal background on the other side. And I know they had these last year. I know there was a whole series of these, and I did not get the placemats last year. But this year, I also I wasn't like decorating my dining room last year, and then that has changed because. You know, once you get into like this many days of a pandemic, you're like, you know, everything is decorated. Every last damn thing is decorated. So I picked these up before the dining room table just because I thought it would be really cute. The other thing, too, is I'm trying to incorporate some accent colors into my all things black, white and cream decor. And I'm I'm in the middle of like a blue kick right now. And so this here goes in the dining room with my existing decor, but the blue yellow kick. Yeah, I actually um, ordered blue bath mats. Well, I got a blue bath mat at Target for a master bathroom and I ordered a second one from Amazon and a new curtain, shower curtain, and it's all blue also. I don't know, I'm just on a blue vibe today, this week, month, year, who knows. All right. Next up, I found these really cute daisy hanging garland. So this is spring fling, right? Floral garland. And obviously like imported by Greenbrier. You get five feet of this. And I thought this was just a really cute daisy garland. I actually thought it would be really cute up here. Although I did try to hang the bunny garland at Easter time and it did nothing but fall down. So I'm assuming it's a me problem, not the garland. But I did pick up two of these because I thought they were really cute. And I thought they would add a nice little touch up yar yeah also they were in the process of putting out like a lot of new summery things and one of the things that they were putting out that i'd never seen before were these wristlets what would you look at these and so they had like four different colors i think but i picked the two that i thought were the cutest so this is that Juncture brand, which is the new-ish Dollar Tree brand. I don't know if it's trying to be like a little more upscale or something, but they got some cute stuff. So cute little wristlet, right? Great to put your card in. It's ain't gonna fit your cell phone. Like, hold on. So I'm filming on my phone. It just, it's not gonna fit your cell phone. So it's not gonna fit your cell phone, but you can put your ID in here. You can put your snacks. Or your, you put your snacks in here or, you know, some money or whatnot. Really cute for the beach. Like, especially if you're going to go, um, if you're going to go somewhere and you don't want to carry a purse or a fanny pack or anything like that. But super cute colors. Look at this. It's this cute coral and the pink and the mustard yellow, which I'm obsessed with right now. Just obsessed. Um, and the blue and this teal blue and this like other blue, other blue. Right, and then I also picked up this one here, which has more of like a rainbowy vibe. But I really thought the wristlet faux leather bands were so cute, and I love how they coordinate. But look at these for a dollar, right? You take this to the beach, you lose it. Hopefully, not with your ID in it or the pool or whatever. Like, you put your three dollars in here and get you a 
small uh, popsicle from the stand, right? Because so people can go back and we're gonna be socializing this summer, right? That'll help you get there. Okay, uh, this is no, in no particular order, clearly. I picked up this really cute bracelet and it's, you know, uh, was that Puka Shell? Something like that, Puka Shell? Puka Shell, something like that. Bracelet with this uh, rainbow vibes to it. These are not real, these are definitely plastic, but I got it for my four year old because I thought that she would enjoy a shell bracelet. Speaking of my four year old, I found this really cute, she's not gonna get this, but it's a compact mirror. I gotta tell you, I love a nice compact mirror because sometimes you never know when you're gonna need a mirror because you gotta look at something up close and personal. Um, like in our master bathroom, our sinks are, I don't wanna say kind of deep, but sometimes if you gotta pluck a hair, you know what I'm talking about. <coughs> Sorry. Sometimes if you gotta pluck a hair, you know, you can't get that close to see it and you need a little compact mirror. Or you wanna make sure that, you know, you got all the sesame seeds out of your teeth before you get on a Zoom meeting. And that is what this little mirror does. But look at it, it's not, is that even a mirror? It just look, yeah it is. That's so cool, look. I can't tell if one of these is, yes. This one is a magnifier and this one is not. But I thought that was really cute. So they had a unicorn one, I think they had a mermaid one. It does not snap closed though, and there's no magnet here to keep your girl closed. So if you're gonna put that in your purse, just be careful. She might fall open and break. You're not, you're not watching what's going on. All right, next up, these were actually on my wish list. Sorry, that crack. These are actually on my wish list. These um, mask containers. And I was like, these are just so damn cute. Not cute, like in the sense of the word, but they're gonna help organize. For example, so my, I think I mentioned it before, my husband prefers, sorry, that was loud. My husband prefers the disposable mask because he says his face is too big for a regular, like a standard reusable mask. I don't know. So there's masks all over the place. And he's got them in baggies and places and it's, it's not clean, it's not nice. And I found that these, this is not a Dollar Tree item, but I found these at Aldi's and they're children's disposable face masks. You got a 10 pack of these. And I thought, ooh, I just got this disposable pack of face masks from a kid and we're gonna put them in this box if I could open it. Um, but it does have these two little latchy things. That's nice. So it won't just like fly open all over the place. And I think can, you gotta like maneuver it, right? and shove it in here and boom. Look at that. I mean, there's little face masks in here. Throw this in your purse, throw it in the car, you're good to go. I picked up two, one for the kid and one for the husband. I use reusable face masks because I don't like that feel. Although I probably should switch the reusable ones. Maybe I wouldn't have so much chimney, chimney down here. You know what I mean? All right. Next up, speaking of the child, I found this adorable bucket hat and it has bees on it. Y'all, stop. I thought this was the cutest damn thing. This is for kids, right? Hat chapeau. No. No. It's for me. Would you look at that? I'm not a hat person, but this thing fits on my head. Hmm. Is this my new look? Probably not, but it fits my head. I've never had a hat fit my head before, especially not one from the Dollar Tree. All right, so we got people hats. I did haul some other ones that in a bag over there that I haven't yet recorded that were kids ones. So they got kids and grown up hats at the Dollar Tree. Look at this for a dollar. Son of a gun. You take that again, you leave it at the beach or wherever. Don't pay it a mind. Uh, let's see. keep on going. I found these, these were new. I'd never seen these before, but I thought uh, my kid would get a kick out of these. It's a flashlight with a pen. If there are two things in this world that my nearly four year old loves is a flashlight and a pen, not a crayon. No, no, it has to be a pen or preferably a marker. And if she had an opportunity, it would always be a Sharpie. So I thought these were really cute. So we have a princesses one and then a finding Dory one also. Yeah, that's fine. Try to explain to a four-year-old like what happened to Dory's parent, like why Dory got lost. It's 
little traumatic for them, let me tell you. She's like, why did Dory get lost? I'm like, oh, I don't know, she wasn't listening. Just kidding. Um, right. Speaking of the said four-year-old, I picked up some nail polish. And you might be looking at that and say, Laura, that is not your color. No, it's not, because I am a dark nail polish gal. But I picked up this really cute LA Colors. Um, it's like a pink sparkle. Can you see that? I think my, my ring light is not too high. But it's this really pretty like pink sparkle color. And then I also picked up this one here, which is kind of like a neon pinky color. And I also grabbed another rapid dry top coat. When my husband was out of town, I took her, Morgan to her first like nail salon visit and she was thrilled to say the least. So, but since then she has since picked off her nail polish and she wants to go back and I'm like, no, 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 no. We're not gonna go regularly for your child nails. We're gonna, we're gonna do some of this at home. So I picked up some new nail polish cause all of mine is black or well, I don't know in this color, but you get the drift. I got another one of these grow kits. I did get the basil grow kit a while back that I hauled and I thought it wasn't going to live, but there's basil. The basil has sprouted. I have basil in my kitchen that has sprouted. And so far, I haven't killed a single, not a single one of these Dollar Tree plants. And I thought, holy crap, I can't believe I didn't kill a single one of these dang things. Let's buy some more because this might be the first and only time in my life where I will grow something. So I picked up another daisy one. They had a couple of other ones too. They only had like three left and one was like a blue forget me not and one was a pink something or other. But I thought it was cute. We're going to give it a whirl. Then dumping out my other bag over here on the floor because clearly this was not organized. I picked up a number four birthday cake. A baby sternum four. Um, I ordered a cake for her. She wanted a unicorn cake. So I placed the order at a local bakery and then I picked up the glitter number candle for her to blow out. <laughs> it's like two weeks from today. Two weeks from today. My oh, baby. Um, I also grabbed her two more of these magic towels. She loves these things. I don't know what it is about kids loving these magic towels. They aren't soft. They're not comfortable. They love them though. We have like 700 of these. Um, I actually use them in the, the bath myself as a, to exfoliate my face because they're just that rough. So there you have it. Speaking of bath, I finally, 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 finally found these. Speaking of wish list items, I was on the hunt for this April bath and shower wooden bath brush. I have been, I saw people haul these. I've been on the lookout for these. I have not seen them. And the, that store, that magical store by Trader Joe's that I didn't know existed had blue ones and they had like three left. And I grabbed two of them because I've been on the lookout for these for quite some time. And I thought if I found them, I was gonna get two of them. And I thought these would be so nice. Like to do your back, gosh, just to, get all scrubbed up here. And this is a nice wooden handle too. Like for a dollar, this is beautiful. And I've seen people all over creation hauling these because they're just really nice for a dollar. Last couple of things here. Speaking of the bathroom, I guess I picked up uh, some feminine cleansing wipes because you never know when you need to feel tidy up down there. All right, two, three more things. I found some new baby blankets and yes, Laura, you have a four-year-old. Here's the thing, you know what four-year-olds love? They love stuffed animals and play tending with stuffed animals or baby dolls or wrapping them up in blankets. So for a dollar, we got some baby blankets, but these are new, I never seen these before. This rainbow one with this yellow background is adorable and just a really nice, just a nice fleecy blanket. You can do all kinds of stuff with this. You could do crafts with it. You could give it to baby. You can give it to your dog, cat, I don't know, whatever you want to do with it. You can cut it up into pieces and craft with it, whatever you want. Like, but this is really nice, like for a dollar. And I thought that the rainbow pattern was just so, so cute. Now, if I thought that was cute, you know what got me. It's got jellyfish and whales, what? Look at that. Ah, uh, if you knew somebody who was having a baby with a little 
ocean theme this would be so precious oh my gosh i love it so much like i think this was just the cutest one that i ever have seen so she's got two more baby blankets to go with the others um random floral picks i got two of these in the these are the um yellow roses but these are a little different like these tips are actually plastic instead of um instead of like the silk flower ones so I picked up two of those. And the last thing, this has been on my wish list for a while too. It is the wash and dry with the little clippy things on it so you can put some missing socks. <sighs> Again, I have a four year old, almost four year old who has tiny socks that seem to get misplaced all the time. And I thought this was so cute. They also had a white one and it said laundry room on it, but I don't actually have a laundry room. Like my washer and dryer is like off to the side, like around the corner from the kitchen. It's not like a room, it's just like a, area so I grabbed this as well but I have been looking for this for so so long like stupid long time so when I saw it I had to grab it and that's it you know even when I say I have a small haul it just it's always like 18 minutes and I don't know why but I guess it's my ability to ramble on that long Anywho, I hope you all are doing well. I hope you are staying safe and healthy and all that good stuff. I hope you are having a wonderful day. And um, if you like this, go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe, all of that awesomeness. And I will see you all soon.